So, Karina, once you're all nice and set at the bar, we will begin your preparation time of 10 minutes. Mul on kõn kapist vaja neid hea ja paikal ja seda ka. Hea mantsin. I need the champagnes and stuff as well. Michael, Michael. It's okay. And we begin your preparation time right now. 10 minutes. Seven and a half minutes to go. Six and a half minutes. And while Karina is doing her best to prepare right now, let's go over the rules of the speed round one more time. So the competitors have 10 minutes to prepare their bar, and then they have nine minutes to prepare nine drinks total for three judges. So each judge gets three drinks. The best is to serve all nine drinks in all nine minutes because for each drink not served, the competitor loses points. So this is a test of speed and not only of speed, the drinks have to taste good and they have to be of high quality. So this is a real hardcore bartender speed test. Best of luck to the remaining competitors. Good job to the competitors who already have done their best in this challenge.
And your remaining time is five and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. Two minutes. One more minute.
30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Five seconds. And that is ten minutes. Karina, your time for preparation is up. Round of applause for Karina. Fancy. So, are you ready? Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, sorry. No? I think I'm ready now. Yeah, you're ready, ready. All right, so then, your nine minutes of presentation time for the speed round start now. Good luck. Okay. So, I'll be starting off with uh, my cocktail called Modern Walking. It's made with Kettle One Vodka and Johnny Walker. Get it? It's a joke. I like Modern Walking, Johnny Walker. Keep walking, modern talking, it's made of a cherry. Cherry, cherry lady. <laughs> Might be. So, I'll just start off this one. And next for Kenji, I have Yudo. I don't know, Kenji, if you don't know what Yudo means. Say again? Uh, Yudo. It's like, uh, may the force be with you in Estonian. Yeah. It's like Estonians were, in old times, good and smart already and knew about um, Star Wars. So we call it Yudo. Yes, I made them the Star Wars drink. So it's inspired by Star Wars. I think you can see that one. And just a little bit of stardust because we're all made of stars. Nice. nice. <laughs> and for you, Eric, I believe you made a cocktail once for the queen in a fountain. Am I right? So this is my twist on it. I'm making you a clear pina colada in a fountain. Seven minutes. And just a dash of absinthe. Mm -hmm. Sorry? So the next one is called Bubbles in Sand. It's inspired by Mexico City and it's basically, as you can sh see, it's this Caribbean style, Mexican style with like Mexican sand on it. And actually, you can try it. If you can eat it. The sand is edible. Lovely. Yeah. So I even gave you a spoon. So. Round of applause for Karina and her creative cocktails. music for you, so it's just a chill the atmosphere. Uh, next one is my really nice signature drink called Estonian Mafia. Estonian Mafia. It's made with bullet rye, Estonian authentic liqueur, and a little bit of Grand Marnier. A little bit of bitters. A lot of bitters. And the next one is called Siberian Lemonade. And um, it has nothing to do with Siberia. It has everything to do with Russia. But why I call it Siberian Lemonade is because I'm using inside it um, lemonade 
Baikal, which is kind of in Siberia. And why I'm also calling it Siberian lemonade is because it's uh, in a swan. And um, it's inside a swan. And the swan is one. No, yeah, this like Siberian swan. There are swans swinging on the lake. And the next one. Four and a half minutes. Is made with mushroom infused cow ila. And whoop, morning sangrita. And I made like blonde sangrita. And another one for you, Eric, is a twist of talisker flip, but it's not quite a flip. Four minutes. And it's basically sweet and sour and salty talisker mix. And another one for Kenji is called um, Kazuko. Andre, Kazuko. Uh, yeah. It's because, you know, Andre has been like such a big inspiration for us and our mentor and our father, and you're kind of his mentor and father. So it's kind of logical to make it for you. And I know you hate Campari and everything, but. You know, if you know Andre, he's a little bit of bitter and a little bit of sweet and sour, so you're just gonna have to manage with Andre like that. Three minutes. <laughs> Round of applause, she's shaking it up. And I made the glasses myself, as I told actually Will yesterday. Uh, I've studied class art design for quite some time, and I like making my own vessels. So I made this vessel myself, and it looks like, like, like a lot of like Andre. It is Andre. Two minutes. And I'm rolling the Floody Mary. I call it the hot blonde, because it's like a little bit hot, a little bit spicy, but not that much. It's just perfect. A little bit of perfume of smoked. One and a half minutes. Like a bully. One minute to go. Round of applause for Karina. I'm going to swizzle this one. But I'm going to use really specific small ice blocks not to water it down too much underneath. Okay. 30 seconds. So the flirt. Twenty seconds. And Kenji, you know? <laughs> the Star Wars. And you can have this one. Ten seconds. And what 
And that's time. Nine minutes have passed for Karina. A round of applause for her. Wild applause for Karina. No, I'll give it to you, so. The shell is for William. Because I know Australia kind of sends stuff, maybe you like it. So this one is for you. This is the flip, yeah. And... Mm -hmm. This one is for you as well, Siberian Lemonade. <laughs> so the Kazako is for Andre's Kenji. Where's Andre? And the flirt is also for you. And William, I know you love food. Of course you do. And this is my home cooked meal for you. So since you were like a little short on the food yesterday when on the walk. Okay, and space juice. Uh, Estonian mafia. It's for William. Because Estonia, you know, and you're a regional uh, mentor and manager, so this one is for you from Estonia. And a pairing, since you would like to have some popcorn when looking at the Star Wars in a movie, and also. The modern walking. I can't take that one. You can't take that one. Too bad. All right, Karina, thank you very much. Another round of applause for her. Your cleanup time is already underway, so you have eight minutes to clear the bar and the preparation room. Mm -hmm. Can I get my boxes? And almost halfway in his preparation time, we have Vinyus Balchaitis from Lithuania. A round of applause for Vinyus. Good luck preparing, man. Six minutes to go.
five minutes to go. Four minutes. Three minutes to go. Two more minutes. One and a half minutes. One minute. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds.
five seconds. And we're done. Vinyus, your preparation time is over. Some noise for Vinyus, please. Okay. All right, Vinyus, are you ready for your nine minutes of fame? Uh, yes, one, 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 yes. Uh, I'm ready. All right, I'm perfect. So your nine minutes of competition start now. Yes. Good luck. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. So I'm Venus. Yesterday Mr. I didn't Pete score Rodriguez. some of you guys. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, I'm going to make goes, nine drinks Ooh. as fast as I can. Ooh. Maybe nine minutes. Ooh. Maybe... Maybe faster. Uh, so, I'm starting with a citrus juice uh, and some sugars. Uh, later, I'm gonna start going for uh, for other ingredients. So, okay, my first cocktail is with a uh, bullet bourbon, and the interesting thing is that this bourbon was relaunched in uh, '87, and I was born as well in '87. So, we have some. Uh, something coming, a little bit of Pedro Jimenez, uh, almond, almond, uh, homemade almond milk, uh, yes, egg white, it's gonna be the twist on the fizz. Uh, next cocktail, cocktail we're going uh, with Don Julio uh, Reposado, it's gonna be a little bit spicy, Mexican flavor. Huh? Okay. Uh, it's, uh, and the next one as well gonna be with uh, this uh, wonderful tequila. Uh, this cocktail gonna be with uh, some barbecue chipotle, uh, barbecued uh, bell pepper chipotle syrup, uh, some yellow chartreuse. Uh, and chocolate bitter. So as you see, we have all um, all the flavors from Mexico. Seven uh, minutes. Next cocktail gonna be a Bloody Maria. A little bit twist. Uh, tomatoes, tequila, and uh, dash mix. Dash is a kind of stock or a soup from the fish or algae in Japan. Uh, yes. We're going for Zakapa. Uh, Zakapa rum. Round of applause yeah. for Zakapa. Uh, so it's gonna be one cocktail, gonna be uh, Swizzle. So it's tropical, tiki style of drink with passion fruit cordial and fresh uh, celery juice. Uh, some bitters here, some bitters here. Yes, we're going further. Um, Six minutes. Okay, uh, next one gonna be kind of twist on old fashioned uh, with a uh, uh, rum old fashioned, sorry, with a uh, manzanilla, dry sherry, smoked tea, uh, some grapefruit bitters. It's a cup I already put it in. So the next one is. Uh, one of my favorite classical drink. Uh, it's gonna be hanky panky, and this is gonna be how I like it to drink it. Uh, yes. Okay, this poison. Okay. Uh, just a simple, nice hanky, and as well, it's gonna be a little bit in the next drink of the remove. Um, yes, of course, for. For a hanky, maybe not too much, I hope so. Uh, yes, we're going for the vodka, uh, kettle one vodka from Schedam, uh, Nolet family. Five uh, minutes. As well, a little bit for my twist on the mule. Uh, so, the first cocktail I'm already gonna finish. Uh, the drinks are out. It's with. Uh, 
a homemade ginger beer with uh, yuzu juice and Lawas galangal. It's like a, it's like a ginger. Yes. Uh, some garnish, and it's gonna be for Will. Just something fresh. Uh, okay. I'm still gonna go for this. Yes, it's uh, 30 mils of, uh, 30 mils of sea berry juice. Yes, and five of Grand Marnier, sorry. Love it. Uh, and we're going for my last kind of drink. It's uh, penicillin, how I like to drink it. So Four minutes. So we were going for a Johnny Walker, gold label, and a ginger honey syrup. So, uh, it's time to shake it. It's time to shake it. Let's cheer the shaking up. Yes. Ooh, there we go. So, uh, the penicillin. Uh, I'm gonna go for for Kenji. Something with whiskey, spicy, some garnish. And of course, the peated like a bully in on top. Yeah? Here you are. Uh, the ever drink is torn. Uh, so, I made it with sea buckton berries. And yesterday I made a signature drink with it. So, this is going. Uh, and he didn't have to taste my signature drink, so it's for Mr. Eric. Uh, of course. Yes, now... Double two. steering. Double steering, yeah. yeah! So we're gonna get a little bit dilution for this. Uh, going for, for a swizzle, for a... For a will. Jesse is going the cup of drink. Yeah. Nah. Yes, of course, some uh, garnish and uh, sustainable straw for you. Here you are. Applause so, for sustainability. Two minutes we, to go. Now we can finish this one. Uh, yes. So, uh, this is my hanky for you, Will, and the kappa for Eric, sorry. Yeah, surprise, surprise. And um, Solera attached cocktail for Kenji. And now it's gonna be my other cocktail throw technique. Yeah. It's even not a throw, maybe roll, yeah? Just the nice flavors. Here you are. And I saw uh, in the YouTube, Eric made uh, Bloody Maria. So I made my version. I hope you're gonna like it. One for, minute. For the garnish, some, uh, some uh, tomatoes, barbecued. So. So, you can call me, cocktail, you can call me Al for, uh, for Kenji. 30 seconds. Yes, yes, oh yes, oh yes. How people sing, yeah? You know how it works, yeah? So, and... 15 seconds. So, okay, this is for you. This is for you, and I have some menu for you as well to check it out. What you're drinking? And time is up. Enjoy it. 
This guy has some serious fans with him right here. Great support, great support. I need support. water, do you have water? Nine drinks in nine minutes, perfectly executed. Good job, Ainus. Bye bye, get out. Now we're gonna, okay. This later you can put somewhere else. Okay, now we're gonna. Good. Sir, cleanup time of 10 minutes has already started. Everything is spotless after this. Vinius is taking out his stage. Alexander is already setting up his bar. Alexander, you have eight minutes to go. Six and a half minutes for preparation. Let's have a short chat with our previous competitor, Vinius. So how does it feel to be on the world-class stage here in Latvia? It's nice. Fun, but it's always nice. I think. So uh, do you feel like a winner after that performance? Yeah, I feel, uh, I feel like performed good. Can be better always, but it's okay. Uh, don't be so hard on yourself. You did really good and you have a really good set of fans over there. So. Uh, Cheers for you, man. Uh, anything you want to say to the next competitors going on stage right now? Yeah, just go full speed, like everything. It's uh, one chance, eh? <laughs> one shot, one kill. Okay, Vinius, thank you very much. It was a pleasure watching you perform. Applause for Vinius, doing nine out of nine drinks in nine minutes just now. Break 
it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it down. Alexander, you have five minutes to set up your bar. Four minutes. Two minutes. One minute. Two seconds. Ten seconds.
And preparation time ends now. Applause for Alexander. <laughs> he looks very confident. That's very good. All right. Let's wait for your judges. Can we do a microphone check? Hello. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Hi. And the judges are ready. Round of applause for our judges of today. There we go. Applause, applause, people. <laughs> Alexander, are you ready? Come on. Yes. Great. All right. So, we'll try. your presentation time of nine minutes starts now. Good luck, man. Thank you. Thank you. So, first, uh, my first cocktail is going to be based on Rome. It's an uh, old classic. It's called Dark and Stormy. Second one also goes on rum. It's going to be called a Jolly Molly. <laughs> so uh, the, the next one is uh, it's going to be based going to be based on vodka, and the fourth is also going to be based on vodka. Hmm. For the first one, some lemon juice, two. Second, two. Mm. Mm. Ten. Two. Mm. Sugar. So for, jo for Jolly Molly, we're going to be using fresh strawberries. Also in the last cocktail, there's going to be a fresh strawberries. Then we're going to have a, like a passion fruit puree. Passion fruit liquor. Seven minutes. So the third cocktail is a classical Moscow meal. So I'm a little bit ginger. A little bit more. And pretty much the, uh, the lemon and sugar already inside. So, the next one is going to be on the penicillin, but it's not going to be on the Johnny Walkers, it's going to be on the tal <laughs> Talisker. And also, a little bit of ginger. Six minutes. So the next one is going to be called My Wife, based on gin, with some, a little bit of uh, port wine, and Aperol. Also we're adding three dashes of fungus to our beaters. Uh, next one is going to be the old flame. Also based on gin with uh, some uh, Aperol. A little bit of uh, pomegranate juice. And some one dash of bitters. Five minutes. The next one is going to be uh, it's called the Tinta Brass. 
Basin Gin, Aperol, some uh, paprika syrup, lemon sugar already inside. And the last but not least, I called Estes, based on Nojuleo Blanco, with a mixture of Agawa syrup, some a little bit cra black currant liquor, and I'm on the side. Okay, start shake. Round of applause for Alexander, shaking it up right now. Three and a half minutes left. The next one. Three minutes. Here we go, sir. This is going to be a jelly molly. The next one is... Two minutes. Born Star Martini. Garage goes. There you go. This is going to be a porn star martini. One minute. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Mm. 
And that is time. Applause to Alexander Smolko from Estonia. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks. All right, so Alexander, you have 10 minutes to clear the bar and the prep room right now. Yeah, I know. Meanwhile, on the second stage, we have Tuom Skapanaza from Latvia already beginning his preparation time. Word of information for all the competitors who have already done their speed round. Uh, lunch is served. Go ahead, have a nice meal, uh, get some energy for the remaining day. Eight minutes to go. Seven minutes. Six minutes for Tuoms to finish preparing.
five minutes. Four minutes. Two minutes. One more minute. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. So, I didn't want to say Eric, how are you? I'm very good. Um, fantastic to hear. And preparation time is over. Applause for Tuams. He's ready to go.
Now I'm gonna Drums, all good? Okay. Can Ready? I start? Yeah, you can start now. Good luck. My name's Tom. I start a quick, nice uh, twist on a Ramos Gene Fizz. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cream. I'm gonna add some banana, little bits of lime. And I'm gonna do serve this drink to you, Kenji, since it's a little bit on the sportier side. And I know that you used to do triathlons. Can you hear me? Uh, no. How about now? All right. Now, originally, uh, Ramos, gin fizzes were shaken very hard. Today I'm using a blender. Well, fortunately, because Ramos did have those sons shaking, and I can't even handle a girlfriend. There we go. With a little bit of Angostura. That's for you, Kenji. Now I'm gonna move on with uh, a scotch and soda for you, Will, actually. Now it's gonna be a bit of a... <laughs> I'm gonna do a... <laughs> it's gonna be a little twist on a classic scotch and soda. I'm also gonna use the Johnny Walker Gold label in a cocktail by the name of uh, Rusty Nail. Here we go, a scotch and soda. Now the twist for this drink is going to be a little drop of matcha tea, since the original founder of Johnny Walker was a tea blender, as you all probably know. There we go, well that's for you. Now I'm gonna do a quick drink for you, Eric. Seven minutes. That is uh, going to be a hanky panky because you look like you need a, a bit of a kick. How was your master class last night? After decades of trying, the cocktail originally created by Another Savoy bartender at Akoli Coleman, if I'm not mistaken. Recently, I've found this drink to be very soothing after a shift. But since you already did yours yesterday, I'm gonna try to do my best for it today. Nice lemon garnish with it. Now, a six minutes. Quick cocktail for you, Kinji as well. A Vesper going to be a nice, lovely blend of Tanqueray number 10, Kettle 1 Vodka, and since originally Bond asked for it with Kina, and Kina is out of date, I'm going to be using a blend of vermouths. Now, I am also going to throw this drink, not shake, as Bond specifically ordered. There we go. Some applause for Tuomas Kapanaza from Latvia. See the plastics? Wasn't able to do that, but then my brand ambassador recommended I should do yoga. Where is, it? Where is he actually? With the fella. There we go with the Vesper. Lemon zest for you. Now another cocktail for you, Eric. Five minutes. It's vodka based with a lovely kettle one. It's kind of a take on a gimlet. It's consisting of matcha green tea, then some lemongrass, and bits of lime to make it even more authentic to the gimlet. Now, the color, the consistency, the lemongrass, the matcha works perfectly well with the kettle one the grains, the winter grains. Serve it in a nice coupette. And spray it with some lagavulin for that depth. There we go. Nice zest of orange. 
four minutes. Now, a tequila cocktail for Will. What a surprise, eh? I'm shocked. But actually, I would like to get approval of this cocktail from you since this is a my creation for the Latvian market. Since uh, nobody in Latvia really enjoys tequila. Yes, only in shots. Well, nobody hasn't. Nobody really has tried tequila made from 100% blue Weber agave, and that's the problem here. That is why. That will shake. Can I get an applause for the shake? Yes, applause for Tuams on the shake. Believe it or not, the shake is always better when there is applause in the background. The drink consists of basil, some l lemon liquor, Añejo tequila, which is aged uh, more than nine months in oak barrels. Three minutes. And if you put it like that to a guest, it's more or less irresistible to them, too, since everybody here enjoys scotch, who originally is boring, as somebody said previously. Thank you. There we go. Also, I'm going to serve a rusty nail on a bit rusty glass. Also, now Kenji, I know it's gonna seem very strange, but I'm gonna serve you another dark and stormy. No wonder, but I'm gonna serve it to you because I couldn't find any info on you. So you're a very mystical man, and that's why I'm serving you a mystical drink <laughs> from a mystical country. There we go. That's another drink for you. Applause for Kenji, the mysterious judge. No information. Now another, Two another, minutes. Another drink is going to be a world-class pho, like pho, like the soup. They make it in Asia, very popular. Base of this is a Soleta, 23 Zacapa. Chose this from specifically because the blending, the mixing connects with the with the, the way they make the faux soup as well. You know, they have the bouillon, the soup, and they add something new. That's one like, and a half. Like, like they make the zakapa itself. Serve it in a. So I do serve it in a takeout box. This is my take on the world's problem of uh, plastics and. Glassware breakage. This is take, but also a nice way to take away your cocktails to the street, and nobody's gonna. One minute. Say nothing. Like enjoy. In the park. Here we go. Eric, that's for you. A nice post shift drink. Now, do I have all the drinks made? The green one, for Will. Yeah. I believe all the drinks are made. Is it? Uh, is it uh, time for a fiesta? All the drinks are made by Tuam's applause to him. Record yeah. time yeah. today. And he celebrates. It's Good a, job. It's a he, glorious occasion. He still has Woo! 25 Mexico! seconds to celebrate. <laughs> now I'll see you in the next one, yeah? So you can use these 15 seconds to find something out about Kenji, since he's such a mysterious guy. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but actually, if, if you take, take a, this situation in a bar, so three wise men walk into a bar, and the bartender says... Time. Like, Sorry, time. but you can go on. <laughs> Applause for Tuams, he did a very good job. Three wise men walk into a bar, and, everybody, and the bartender asks, why such a long face? And then, well, we've been, we've been drinking all day, so the bartender goes, ah, oh, screw it. The smoothie time. That sounds like your jokes. Uh, <laughs> gonna say I'm a horse. All right, Tuams, your 10 minutes cleanup time is already underway. And on the second stage, we have our final competitor for today, starting his preparation time very soon. Uh, Mikhail Sminskowski is from Latvia.
A quick reminder to all the competitors who have already been at their speed rounds and are done with their blind tests. Lunch is served. Go ahead, have a good meal. It's probably very, very good. Eight minutes to go. Six and a half minutes. Five more minutes.
three and a half minutes. All right, over here on the Mexican sand, we have Tuams, our competitor from just before. Uh, I think you have a very solid chance of holding today's speed record for nine drinks served in, uh, what was that, eight and a half minutes. Very good. So what was the key to success in doing it so quickly and so nicely? Um, well, how should I say? I had two double espresso in the morning. And plus, since this is the second day, I wanted to do it, uh, even, I had planned to do it even faster. But, you know, not a lot of sleep last night, so that's why it's so slow. So you think your key to success is coffee? Yes. Awesome. Coffee is great. Everyone, please uh, give a round of applause for Tuams, our so far speed recordist. Unless our final competitor, Mikhail's, proves him otherwise. Two and a half minutes to go. A little bit of information. So after Mikhail's finishes his performance, we have a 20-minute lunch break, and he's also the final person to do the speed round today. Afterwards, we carry on with the next competition, and that will be the punch round at exactly 2 p.m. sharp, so 14.00 back at this stage. But right now, Mikhail still has two minutes to finish his preparation time. Best of luck to him. One more minute. A quick reminder also to the happy people upstairs having the time of their life with a good lunch meal. Please be as quiet as possible during the competition. Please respect the remaining competitor. Single competitor. Michael, you still have 30 seconds to finish your preparation time. Ten seconds. Hi, hi, hello. Oh, oh what world class? <laughs> and your time is up. This guy's already showing some beatboxing skill. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, not All doing right. cocktails. Next time, next time. Michaels, are you ready? I am ready. So round of applause for our final speed round. Competitor Mikhail Sminskowskis from Latvia. Your time starts now. Good luck. Hello, guys. And um, I will have a simple stuff here, but uh, with the concept of uh, dividing my cocktails on uh, aperitif, main course, and uh, digestive. First one will be a uh, stirred Negroni with a red pepper. And um, it will be for you, Will. Then I will do the, my signature oriental tea for you, Eric. It's based on uh, bergamot tea, sarik vodka, lavender syrup, and lemon juice. With uh, tonic as well. Kenji, for you I made uh, tequila. Tequila and frozen margarita with a soprano. Will be your digestive. Why I'm talking about the digestive, you'll be knowing a bit later. Here we go for the frozen 
applause for the blender. Woo! Uh, Will in your cocktail, Negroni. I'm using the gin, Tanqueray Tan, Campari Vermouth. Oh, uh, vermouth, red vermouth, Campari, and uh, red pepper syrup. Please enjoy your digestive. Only one and a half minute has passed and Michael has served his Eric, first drink. Your cocktail I will throw. I hope it's enough to hear me because it's now competition between me and Blender. Seven minutes to go. This is oriental tea for you, Eric. And out of uh, the cocktail, there is a lavender spray with a bergamot tea because everything that is outside, everything is inside. Kenji, this is for you, soprano. And um, I, talk, I, I talked firstly about the. about the digestive main course and etc. And why I have told about that. Because um, this is the main course. Cocktail that will be, and uh, this is the swizzle. And uh, I guess, Eric, you, you know uh, the recipe because it is your swizzle. A bit changed. Six minutes. Well, this is a gin. This is uh, lemon juice. You have a, a cane sugar, but I made a gaba. And um, you made it in 2010. And on top, on this. And uh, here you go, this is the main course. This is the things that uh, made our chef. Uh, his name is uh, Artos Tashkans. He was yesterday as a judge and he made those appetizers for you. Maybe later I will tell you what is inside because he, it is his creation on the appetizer. Five minutes. Uh, the base is the vodka here and the cranberry juice. This is a sea breeze and uh, Kenji, it is for you. Applause for Mikhail, shaking it on the stage right now. When I'm taking that it's for you, Kenji. This is, this is my layered cocktail and uh, I will garnish that the same way, Kenji, this is for you. And uh, for you, well, I will do my twist on Tom Collins, but with, don't hold you. Four minutes. And as I'm telling you Don Julio, I'm uh, oh, Don Julio, tell Tom Collins, I'm tasting that and I'm adding a plum soda for you. Plum soda. And uh, I haven't forgotten for you, about you as well. Here we go. Now it's time for the digestive. When I second the digestive, I made my twist on. French 75. French 75 with the help of the cherry plum syrup. Three minutes. And he's shaking it up. Six out of nine drinks are out already. 
French 75 with the gin, cherry plum, a bit lemon juice, and I take great pleasure I'm telling that with the Mr. Pete Rodriguez. And the wedge of the lemon. And this is for you, Will. After lightly salmon salted, you have a seca. Seven out of nine drinks served. Kenji, when I'm thinking about you and about the digestive, I don't know why, but it comes to me that you should, you should have a whiskey drink. And a sweet whiskey drink. And you will have a rest in ale. And... Two minutes. It is a rest in ale for you. And my last, but not least, my signature cocktail, and it again comes to Eric. This is my uh, Don Julio Ramos. I called it Ramos Don Fizz, and it's made of uh, Don Julio. Uh, the classical ingredients: cream and egg. It is with uh, egg white cream. And uh, I use the gava because I have um, lime lemon juice and gava, and everything will be topped with uh, one minute. Plum. Applause, last minute going on. Final drink in preparation right now. Plum cardamom soda. It'll give you a nutty note. This is a reverse double shake because I would like to chill and then to do a foam. And my special serving of that. 30 seconds. Eric. 20 seconds. Yours. And I'm done. And I will tell you about the food that they have and made. He's done. 15 seconds to go, 9 out of 9 drinks. Eric, Eric you have a nori seaweed with a bit of a parmesan cheese. Your was the bread, the bread, bread, yeah, with the apples. And you had the salted salmon with the, with the seaweed. And Thank you very done. much. And applause for Michaels, our finer speed round competitor. I hope you like my drinks. And as well, the okay. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, Michels, you have 10 minutes to clear up the bar and the prep room if you haven't done so already. And everyone else, we have a lunch break until 2 PM, so exactly 14.00 sharp. We're back here for the next discipline, the punch round. More information will follow, but right now, please chill out, take your time, have a good meal, and we'll see you back at 2 p.m.